Well, I was doing stand-up uh, on my own for, you know, a couple years, and I was doing okay. I was at a club where I just performed, and I stopped at the bar for a drink. And there's this guy next to me who's smoking. This other comedian came up, and he, he started asking me, you know, so what are you working on? And I did a couple minutes for him, and the guy's really enjoying it and everything. And the last thing he says to me, he says, you guys are great. Guys, tell me, did you uh, did you actually get to see Pete and James in the club? Oh yeah, yeah, it was many times. Man. Yeah. I saw the news the other day. They're participating in sweeps. <laughs> they had the singing reporter. Seeing them do their act together is what made us want to be a comedy team. Yeah. The nice thing about Pete and James is when they're on the stage, the audience knows they're having a good time, and it's infectious. But sometimes the performers get a little jaded. They did not. They just kept up that energy and that excitement. And the audience knew it. There's this fire. Do -do. No hey. Yeah, we were really on a roll. We were doing Letterman and Leno, the Comedy Store, the Improv, the Laugh Factory, we did the Laugh House, the Comedy Bin, Giggles, Chuckle Hut, uh, Guffaws, uh, Ha Ha's, Hee Hee's, Hee Haw's, Ho Ho's, Funny Bones, the Funny Farm, uh, Senior McFunnies, the Laugh Plate, Comedy Corner, Comedy Cellar, Comedy Alley, Comedy Attic, Comedy Corral, Comedy Kitchen, Jeff's. People had the feeling that they were on to something. I, I imagine like uh, when they would see like the Beatles in the early 60s and like Liverpool. I couldn't have sensed that there'd be anything but sheer enthusiasm about where we were going, what we were doing. For there to be anything but that was just a complete shock. Well, when we started this documentary, it was obviously meant to be about a comedy team. Then, of course, things changed pretty drastically. Best of luck, we really do. Come on, Pete! Hey Pete, it's James. Give me a call, huh? Hey Pete, pick up. Hey, uh, Pete, are you there? Hey Pete, it's James. It's James, it's been some time since you've done stand-up alone, huh? Yeah, but I'm feeling very confident about it. I was watching TV the other day, and, uh... What was it? What was it? It was, it was the act. I mean, it was the same act. It's just, it was, it was minus Pete. Larry? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm the only one in here right now anyway, so keep, really? keep going. You're doing great. Now it looks like you can crown the new king of comedy in Hollywood, and his name is Pete. Hollywood's hottest star, Pete, is at number one at the box office with his action comedy adventure, Pete, the movie. Pete is everywhere you look at this point. He's on television, he's got the movies, and he's on every magazine cover. But Pete's people, I can't get an interview. I can't even get near the guy. It's just no good anymore since you went away. Okay, we're going to walk away. Okay, now I'm going to cover your camera. Now how do you like it now? And nobody's got James. Have you considered maybe having a new partner? Maybe. Three Stooges had more than one curly. So, yeah. Yeah, but that other curly really sucked. You know, Pete and I were watching television the other night, and, uh, you ever watch the Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. No, no see, so you don't, you don't respond. Oh, okay. like, yeah. That, the audience will do that. Hey, Bob, have you seen my keys? <laughs> no, I, no, okay, so you don't. I know what you're going to say. I, I appreciate that it's funny, but you, you're not supposed to laugh. But I've got, you know, I've got James all to myself, and here's, you know, where I'm at, and that's, you know, That's great. So what are you working on? A pilot for NBC. Stand every week, comics? every week there's going to be a different stand-up comedian. We don't want somebody that's overexposed. This could be something good for me then. I you wish. Know, I don't mean to sound like you know, I don't forget about you. You're so, you're so talented. He's just like his mom. I was a performer, you know. Lawrence Welk saw me and asked me to come to California and be his champagne lady, but then I met your father. Some people said I should have gone with Lawrence Welk, but... Well, I'm, I'm glad you... Well, I am too, sweetheart. Oh, no, I wouldn't know I wouldn't have done anything no, I else, but... I, I mean, you're my life. You know that. I just don't know what I need to do to reinvent myself to make it work. Shut up! 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 I don't want you to meet with a new agent, though. We brought him on just for you. Franklin, you're my agent. He's I don't... great. He's gonna reinvent you. Back in Arkansas, uh, we were pig farmers. I was the one who picked the prize-winning pigs, so I have an eye for talent. Uh -huh. Hey, you do Regis? 
No. You do read, you read it, you read it. <laughs> Is that your final answer? I can Ooh, sell you because you're good looking. You're very, very good looking. <laughs> no, seriously. I want to buy your groceries. I want to wake up and I want you to be there and I want to hold you. You are no longer to identify yourself as the comedy team of Pete and James or Pete and James, or use the name Pete, or the name James, or the likeness of Pete James is James. my name. James is my name, that's my name. Well, uh, we're gonna start with a uh, video on traffic safety, and then we'll go around the room and we'll talk about everybody's moving violations. I can just see you later or something, I'll catch up with you later. I think you should try acting, because honestly, if it's a stand-up, he's not gonna make it on his own. Remember Wham? And yeah. uh, George Michael and, and Andrew, then yeah, James. James. Andrew, Andrew originally. You know, nobody stops to think that this guy sat on a stool and smoked. He sat on a stool and smoked, and I do all the comedy. I do all the writing. I wrote everything. I told him to sit on the stool. I helped him pick out a stool, the first stool. What should we get? I picked out this stool. Mexican food or something? Yeah, taco place right there. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine.